Hey, don't you love my display case there with all my balloon dogs and balloon elephants and stuff? <laughs> Hello and Merry Christmas. Hey, it's Corn Pop here. Welcome to Corn Pop's Corner. I'm going to show you how to make a wreath that I just learned from Lindsay Foster this week. So it's really simple. All you need is actually five 260s because uh, we're going to do uh, the wreath and then we'll put a... Uh, uh, a bow on the wreath. So uh, I'm going to start out with two lime green and two red 260s. And I'm just going to put them on the pump here one at a time. Pump them up about three fourths of the way there. Leave about that much on the end. Tie that off. Stick it right up in your armpit so you can get that good Christmassy smell to it. <laughs> yeah. Do the other red. It's about six pumps with, with one of these Qualitex pumps. Tie the two of them together. All right, set them to the side. And then you're going to blow up the two green ones. Put it on. I'm a mouth blower. I don't use these pumps very often. So. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yep, that'll work. Tie that off. And one more lime green. One, two, three, four, five, six. Right, tie those two together. Now you're going to take all four balloons. In the balloon world, we call this a duplet, okay? And we're going to take the other duplet that I dropped down here on the floor, and we're just going to twist those together at the nozzles. So now we have two red and two green. You can start with either one of the colors. What you're going to do is just hold them together, take a, a hand's width, and just kind of grab a hold and twist. And twist it in the same direction about two or three times. And then you're going to take the, the other color, which in this case is the lime green. You're going to come up right in the, the opposite way that you did that one. And you're just going to twist that about three times. And you're going to do the same thing with the red. You're just going to alternate back and forth. And you can judge the, uh, the distance of the bubbles there. Just twist two or three times. Come back with the other color. Twist those two or three times. And we're going to do this until you run out of balloon on the other end. I should have told you, oh, I don't think I did. We're making a Christmas wreath. And you just keep twisting. You can also use this, like Lindsay said, for. Uh, different things like you can make a snake out of this or uh, I don't know, lizards, all kind of cool creatures. But since it's Christmas and since I'm showing you this for a Christmas party that you're going to have to make one, I thought this would be a neat way to do it. It's fairly simple, fairly quick, and it's a really cute balloon when we get through. Just keep going until you can't go anymore. And you'll see the, the lime green follows the lime green. The red follows the red. You can get one more out of there. You don't have to if you don't, if you don't feel comfortable doing that. But there we go. We got all of that. And now it looks like this on the end. Well, we have to get rid of those. So in order to do that, you're going to have to uh, probably take a pair of scissors, hold on to that so you don't let go of it. Just cut a little hole on the end of it, take that, and wrap it around a couple of times so you don't lose the air in there. And you're going to do that with all four of the balloons. After you get the, the first one done, then you don't have to wrap it, you can just tie it to the other one, like so. I'm going to show you how I did. I don't use scissors on these. 
I just pop them off of there like that and then tie it on. So I think you want to try that, go for it. Or if you're actually an actual balloon artist or someone who's been doing it for a while, you can do that. I actually made this video for a Christmas party. Now we're going to take the two ends with both of the the, the nozzles on one end and the uh, uh, the excess on the other, and we're just going to put them together and tie them together like so. While I'm doing this, my handy dandy assistant is going to hand me a silver 260 because I forgot to get them. And I'll show you what this looks like so far. Look at that. We have a beautiful wreath. And I now have a silver one to make the bow with. Stretch them out a little bit. Put it on the pump. Now you're going to pump it up about two, three, four, five times, six times, whatever you feel comfortable with there. Tie it off. You're going to make about a six inch bubble, like so. And then you're going to use a one inch bubble and you're going to twist that on itself. It's called an ear twist or a pinch twist. What you do is you put it down like this, you grab a hold of the bubble, pull it up, and just twist it on itself, like so. Now you're going to make a fold twist. I measure with my hand, fold it over, twist that, do the same thing, measure with your hand, fold it over, and twist it so we have our two loops for our bow. See where we're going with this? All right. Now you need one more of these pinch twists, or actually you don't even, it doesn't even have to be a pinch twist, so uh, yes it does. It has to be a pinch twist because of the way I do it. Okay. You take that, and pull it on itself, pinch it in, and now you need to make this part of the ribbon the same, this part of the ribbon, the same size as that. So, twist it off there. Get rid of the excess, but make sure you hold on to that right there because uh, it'll get away from you. Tie that off. Get rid of the excess of the, the balloon. Get rid of the nozzle of the balloon. Just trim it off really close there. And now then, here where you uh, put all the, of the wreath together, right here, uh, you should have a piece in there somewhere that you can grab a hold of, and you're just going to push that right into the bow there, and then just kind of adjust it a little bit. So that you've got the cutest little Christmas wreath and bow. Isn't that cute right there? You could even wear that as a hat if you want. If you didn't have a hat like mine, that's for sure. Alright, hey, thanks for watching Corn Pops Corner. God bless you. Merry Christmas. Go out there and have some fun.